Yo, hello, hello, welcome to the elephant in the room. My name is Aaron and this video is about the trade-free directory. So after going through the book The Origin of Most Problems, you might be like, well Aaron, yeah, sounds like a great idea, but you know, I gotta work tomorrow, I gotta pay for my apartment, pay for food, pay my bills and all that. And anyways, I'm just one human being out of 7 billion people and I cannot do a thing. And I'll be like, well, yes, of course, we won't have a trade-free world tomorrow, not at all. But it's about understanding the problem which is the most important and that we should focus on. And then it's not like you cannot do a thing, it's like you can offer something, provide something without expecting anything in return. You don't need to be part of any organization or project or so, you can just start right here, right now to do something about it. And of course I understand if you are busy or if you have to do some things, if you don't have time or the resources to offer something as trade free. Um, I also have to work tomorrow. I also got to pay for this room here and for the stuff that I need and want. But that doesn't stop me from doing something in this direction. So yeah, I understand this very well. And I was also like in this position, okay, I understand the book. I got what it's about. So what can I do? And then Theo, the human who wrote that book, thought about an interesting website, which is just about the idea. Um, so it's the tradefree.org website that doesn't promote any organization or any other project or so. It's just about the idea, like the ones who offer should not ask anything in return and the ones who receive should not have to give anything in return. So then we also made a short video about this, um, explaining it, like that we have an abundance of stuff, we have more food than people can eat, we have more homes that people can live in, more gadgets that people can use, but still humans have to trade in order to get those things. So when we have more than enough for everybody, why do we still play this ridiculous trade game? Because it doesn't make any sense. So uh, yeah, we just tried to explain all that, um, but we are working on a documentary, like uh, maybe a 90 minute documentary or so, just explaining it in more detail um, to make people aware of that. We also made it here visually, like um, we have many problems in the world, who or what creates these problems, humans of course, it's not a bad smell in the air, it's not aliens or so, it's people who create these problems. So what pushes people to behave like that, that's the environment, because the environment shapes behavior, the environment influences how we act and how we behave, and then what part of the environment, um, that's the trade environment, which like creates an imbalance of power that pushes people um, to create problems. And there we have it also explained a little bit. And then why trade free? Because it's the greatest form of charity and will lead to an abundance of goods and services in any domain of the society if practiced by many and for long enough. So um, yeah, it's just about if you offer something as trade free without expecting anything in return, you're not only helping others because they have access to that, but also for yourself, you're helping yourself because you won't get pulled into an egocentric um, behavior. Like if I would decide now to go to the stock market, for example, become a trader or so, and I would be super close to the trade bubble, so I would probably be pulled towards that and only care about myself, I would only care about money or so. The likelihood that that would happen would be pretty high. But I try to stay away as much as I can from the trade bubble and do what I can just um, to walk into the trade free um, direction. So um, that's the trade free website. We made this website for other people to link towards it. Like I can also show that I have my own website where I, yeah, just, yeah, it's just like a personal website. I have some pictures from my travels, um, 
I have a blog kind of where I also write about stuff and you can see here the handprint <laughs> like the logo um, and also this website is trade free so if people click on it um, then they will get to uh, redirect it to the trade free website in German. I like translated the whole website into German so we got it here. And of course, that's also a sign for people to understand that this website doesn't collect anything from them. Like if I check here on Privacy Badger, there are no trackers. If I go on uBlock Origin, there are also no trackers, no ads, no bullshit. Like it's just my website and I don't expect anything from my users. It's just like my personal place kind of. Um, and yeah, people also can translate this website into um, their language. Like if they click just on here, it will open in a new tab. And then all you have to do is scroll to the bottom. Then you select your language. I'm now just going to select German, Deutsch, to, just to show it to you. Then you can um, have to scroll down to the bottom again and click this little box here. And if you click it, these little boxes will be visible and you can just click on any of them and translate the text into your language. Just click on here and that's it. It's confirmed. So um, yeah, that's how you can translate the whole website into your language. And you can even translate the video into your language. If you just click on improve these subtitles here, then a link will open into Amara. So if you have an account, you um, have to log in and then click on that link and it will open like this. All you have to do then is to click on exit and um, return to the video. And from there you can add or edit subtitles. You can see that it's translated into German, Italian and Romanian, but you can translate it into different languages if you select your language here. And then you can subtitle the video. So um, that was that. And then the last thing about the trade free website is the trade free directory. So if you just click on this link, then it will open in a new tab kind of. And um, you can see the trade free directory. So basically, Tio, the human being who wrote the book, The Origin of Most Problems, um, also thought about a directory. And I was like, fuck yeah, that sounds like a fantastic idea. Because I was also like, I was so excited about this trade free idea and how can I like support it and what can I do? And I think this trade free directory is just a wonderful tool also kind of because it does not only show um, to people like what is trade free in this world. You might think like nothing is trade free in this world. I have to pay for everything, but it's not like this. Here we collect whatever is trade free, which exists in today's world. And also, um, yeah, we are not only highlighting this, but also for people to use these tools. There are many like trade free software apps, um, there are so many amazing websites, organizations who provide something as trade free and um, yeah, we just want to show people what is there and what can we support also. Because you know, I know a lot of people who know that the world is fucked up but they don't know exactly what they could do or which is the right way or the right direction and I think this trade free directory provides some beautiful examples. So if we scroll down, then here we got um, some of those like trade free goods and services um, just as a showcasing basically. So and then here you can see what is being offered like a selection of different trade free goods and services, what is actually offered. But you can also search for something. Let's say you want to have a video editor, a trade free video editor. And you can just see here that Caden Life is one of them. And then if you click on it, you can see here um, just like a screenshot of how it looks like. Then here is the official link to the website. Here a small about text. 
and here what is being offered like of course a video editor and now the cool thing about the trade free directory is that people can review stuff so like if you know Caden Live, the video editor you can um, rate it you can say okay it is like very trade free like of course because maybe some trade free goods and services are not 100 percent maybe some have like some ads on their um, website or so um, like also in the case of um, Caden Live, like because if I go on the website and I check for um, privacy badger then I see here Google Ads and then also some other things from uBlock Origin so um, yeah this is a red flag because if I ask the question wait what am I trading then here on the website I can see I trade with my data and my attention but the thing is Caden Live itself the program is trade free because I can just download it um, from the website and then in the program itself there is um, there are no trackers no ads no nothing that's why I trade it like with four blocks you can also say three blocks because there are quite a lot of trackers and ads on the website but that's up to people like people can review can rate those things if you say okay these are trades that are pretty high for me because like data and attention trade is pretty is pretty fucked up you can also just rate it with three or two bars or blocks and but if you say okay it's not that much of a trade because the program itself is trade free then you can say okay i give four blocks um, and then you can also say okay um, why are you rating like this then you can just press um, submit review and then the review gets um, published because like if we don't have that security measure in place like that we have to publish them manually then we get too much spam and that's also like a directory with full with spam is also not what we want so um, yeah and then um, yeah that's how it looks like basically we made different um, different categories where we organize those goods and services and if we you click on all then there's also this little option throw the dice and you can just play around with this basically you get to see a random trade free good and service which has been added already to the directory so yeah you can also just discover some interesting trade free goods and services which can be fun and then what else did i want to show i want to show the submit page so um, basically we made a little how to so just to explain for people um, what goods or services are do we want to have in this directory so basically it's about um, a good or service and not a project or organization but of course in the case of doctors without borders for example who offer or who provide like trade free medical um, health care and medical aid then um, of course we are going to add the organization because they are providing that but usually it's like about the good or service itself the second point is the organization should continuously being offering the good or service so it's not about if peter gives john his chair trade free then that's great that's phenomena but we are looking for like bigger things which are being offered on a constant basis so not like a one-time thing but it should be continuously and then the third point is about the good or service should be trade free or as close as possible so we are um, looking for the pure things for the clean things which don't have any bullshit attached to them so like um, yeah it, i think it makes sense and here also just about if organization a provides books and you can access them without giving anything in return no data currency attention etc then that is a trade free good or service so if between you and the good or service there are no trades then that good or service is trade free so yeah let's just add something i would say we can just click on the submit page and as you can see it looks 
pretty identical to the existing entries. So it's very easy, very straightforward. And let's fucking add something. I would say we can add a um, sync thing, which is a file sharing software. And I know that it is trade free because you don't have to trade anything in order to use it. And um, yeah, we can just add it. So I can show it to you how you can add something. So first we need to add the name of the good or service, which is now sync thing. Then we need a screenshot. So now you can either make a screenshot of the website or of the um, program itself or the good or service itself. So um, you can also check for Wikipedia and then sync thing because usually um, on Wikipedia there is a, a screenshot kind of. So you can also just use that image or as I said, you can make a screenshot by yourself from either the website or from the program. So in this case, I have the screenshot already and I'm just going to edit. So it looks like this. And then the next thing is the website. So we need the link. We are just going to copy the link, paste it here. Now we need a description kind of. So we can just copy the text from Wikipedia, I'd say, because yeah, usually it gets explained pretty well. But of course you can also take the text from the website, from the SyncThing website, um, but that's up to you. And then what are they offering? So they are offering a peer-to-peer -peer file synchronization application. We can also add application and also file sharing maybe. So you can just use different tags and you can um, always separate them with a comma. Now we need to choose in which category we put the um, sync thing and we are just putting it on goods or services because that's where we have to put all of them and then we put it in software and hardware because of course it's a software it's a program and then the anti-spam question is if i give you a book and ask for nothing in return is that trade free of course that's trade free so we can just check again if we have everything we have the title the image the link then we have the description the text and the category and we also filled out the anti-spam question so we can just submit post and then it is being um, submitted and now it will be reviewed and then um, it gets published and then also like if it's not a trade free good or service it gets into this list over here um, where it's like rejected and but then there's also always a comment why it is rejected, why it is not trade free. So then the last thing is the notifications like you can um, subscribe via email and just to not miss any like anything that gets um, added to the trade free directory. You can also subscribe via RSS feed also to not miss anything which is being added to the directory. So yeah, that's how it looks like. I mean, it's a super simple website. Um, here you can also see the latest reviews, um, how people rate these things. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty straightforward, pretty easy, simple. So you can um, help to let it grow, help to make it better. Um, it depends on people that rate stuff and also review stuff and also um, submit new stuff. Because like think about in like five or ten years how big it could be theoretically because there are so many trade free goods and services out there. So yeah, I think it's just a great tool and I will also come back all the time to make also videos about some trade free goods and services that are added there. Um, and also just yeah talk about it because you know I'm kind of managing it right now. I'm kind of keeping it up and running um so yeah we just want to make it better and improve it and have a wonderful directory of trade free goods and services <laughs> so i think that was it for this video the next video will be about probably a trade free good or service from here i'm thinking about it 
But for now, I'm just gonna say um, goodbye. I hope you liked this video. Um, check out the trade free directory on tradefree.org slash directory. And as always, I'm just gonna say take care and much love. Thank you.